Hi everybody, happy April. Um, just wanted to do a new video and give you guys some more information um, based on some of the questions that I've received recently on the HCG. One of the first things I want to start out with, and I don't think I've done this on the videos before, is I want to just explain how HCG works. Um, because it's super easy to understand and it's really important to understand and I don't think um, that a lot of us do. So. Uh, when we get pregnant, uh, the HCG is present in our body and it has several different functions um, while we're pregnant. So, uh, but the one that we're concerned with as far as the weight loss is this. If a woman gets pregnant and she uh, doesn't have access to enough food, or if she gets pregnant and she's throwing up all the time, and God knows there's quite a few of, uh, of you out there that this has happened to, um, if you can't keep anything down, in either case, if the pregnancy is threatened or the life of the mother is threatened because there's not enough nutrition coming in for the body, what HCG does as a survival mechanism as it goes to uh, stored fat, stored fat is full of vitamins and minerals um, and proteins, um, and so it goes to the stored fat, it extracts that nutrition and those calories and feeds that back into the body and burns off the fat. Um, that's why there's a lot of women, like I said, that if they're sick throughout their pregnancy, they can lose weight while they're pregnant and still give birth to a happy, uh, healthy baby. So that's how it's working when we're on the diet. We've got the HCG in our system. We have our loading days where the HCG sees all these calories coming in and thinks this is normal. And then on day three, when you get on the diet and you go down to those 500 calories, um, that's when the HCG goes, oh my gosh, something's not right. I've got to feed her. And it goes into that stored fat and uh, pulls out that nutrition to feed you with. Um, so that's basically how it works. I hope that made sense to everybody. Um, it's just really kind of a kind of an easy thing. The body is amazing the way it does stuff like that. Um, let me also talk about the different kinds of HCG. There are so many other things out there. Um, of course, originally there was the injections. There's um, homeopathic drops. There's sublingual drops that aren't homeopathic, and there's also pellets now and a spray, I guess. Um, and I'm not familiar with the pellets or the spray. Um, and as far as the other um, homeopathic, or not the homeopathic, the other drops that aren't homeopathic, um, the only thing I know about them is from what I understand there's some mixing involved and it has to be refrigerated, so it's a little bit less convenient. Um, and of course the injections, I'm not a big fan because they're shots and I don't want to be sticking myself <laughs> and so I can't imagine anybody else would want to do that either. Um, but I know there's people that can, that can take it, I guess I'm just not one of them, but um, they're a lot more expensive. Um, Technically, I think in most states you're supposed to get a prescription from your doctor, so it is more expensive. It doesn't, um, they're not made in this country, so you don't have the guarantees um, as with stuff that is made here with regulations and things like that. So I also want to explain homeopathic HCG will not turn a positive pregnancy test. Um, it is not made like other things are made. Homeopathic medicine is made to work with the body on an energetic level, not on a chemical level. Um, the body is made of energy, and so it's more of a normal, a more natural interaction with the body. Um, it's, you're going to get the same results that you're going to get with the injections. Um, like I said, I don't know much about the other stuff, but, but that's why it doesn't mean that it's ineffective. It doesn't mean anything like that. All it means is that it's made to interact with the body differently. But if you're thinking that the real thing is, is something that's going to um, make a pregnancy test positive, that's not how homeopathic works, so, so really that's, that's kind of irrelevant with, um, with this kind of medicine. So um, really quick, the B12 thing, um, I offer a really great product on the website. It's a raw, vegan, um, vegetarian uh, source of B12, really great product. If you are doing the vegetarian protocol, you're really going to need this. You have to have this. Um, and also, if you're, if you're just feeling tired and sluggish, you're going to want the B12. A lot of people, depending on the amount of toxins in your body and stuff, when you're going through this diet, you're eating less, you're eating better, and you're drinking more, there's a lot of flushing and detoxing going on. Um, when that stuff comes to the surface to be flushed out, if it can make you feel kind of sluggish and tired. And some people don't experience that at all. And so, you know, uh, if you want it up front, great, it's here. If you don't feel like you need it, just wait and see. And if you